Obviously, this is a seven passenger vehicle. What makes this different from a Grand Cherokee? It seems like it's very similar in a lot it's, of ways. It is very close. Um, it's obviously off the Grand Cherokee platform, which is a good thing. Um, that vehicle's do doing extremely well for us. The, the wheelbase has increased five inches. So that five inches allows you to package this third row. So we end up having more room than the old Durango in the second row, same room in the third row, and access to the third row is trimmed out. We have a, a piece that you step into and you walk right into the third row. I noticed the battery is under the passenger seat. Is that for weight distribution? Why did yeah, you put it up there? For packaging space and crush space. With some of the impact requirements now, a battery is non-compressible, so we want to have extra crush. It does help, too, with, to your point, of gravity. That's a heavy part. We put a load of the vehicle. It can help improve rollover performance and handling. One thing on the safety uh, aspect, you can see the full curtain, three row. We have standard um, seat bags in every vehicle in the front row. And then active headrests. And one thing that we're really proud of is something we added with the third row. You can see that the headrest, in order to be compliant, they have to be fairly large. Yep. And so when they're large, when you get in and look rearward, you can't see out the back window. So we said that's not acceptable because part of being safe and secure is visibility. So we added an electronic switch to the instrument panel and all the driver has to do is hit the button and the headrests go down. Now you have perfect visibility out, out the back. I remember uh, that used to be on an old E-Class. Yeah, those yeah, little go buttons. backwards. Yeah, 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 I recall that. Yeah, yeah. so it's so very, very that's, similar. We, we had it the meeting and they, we said let's add it and put it in. And then back here we have easy fold. Just throw the seat down, and then the front seat, if it was equipped with the front seat, it would be fold flat, and you'd have up to 10 feet long um, going all the way up to the instrument panel. So if you're an active person, you can put you know, a kayak in here. You could put a kayak in it. Um, the sure. other thing that I think one of the things that Joe Daner was hitting on that is a really slick thing is it's hard to pick up the color difference when you can see the stowable crossbows that are there for the roof rack. And no longer. Can you pop one out? Can you show me? Um, no longer do you need to. Does that one pop out? Uh, they, they unscrew. It. Unscrew. You have to okay. Unscrew and then take so it. So it's very similar to Subaru. Subaru has those as well. So that right. they're they're there alongside. The yep. And then you take it and then put it in position. So you don't get the wind noise. Wind noise. Aerodynamics. And they're not in your garage when you might want them. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. they're always there and available for you. Would you so, say this is as off-road worthy as a Grand Cherokee? No, or, it's not. Because that one has the, the select? Yeah, if you, yeah. If not only because of they have a different transfer case option on the Grand, but the whole way the vehicle is set up, the approach angle, everything, the arrow, we're very proud of that. It's .35 CD. But because of that, we only have, we have 10 degrees left from a pro, less than a Grand Cherokee for approach angle. So it's, it's more of an active lifestyle life, and not active, an off-roader. Not off-road, certainly two-track, light off-road, um, but it's definitely not something you want to take where a Grand Cherokee And you don't have selectable suspension on this? Correct. This, or has, air suspension. this is normally sprung suspension. We don't have the pneumatic suspension. And how about towing capacity? Towing capacity on the V8 yeah. is up to 7,400 pounds, which is a, is a best-in-class number. The V6 is 6,200 pounds. Mm -hmm.